So how cool would it be if we could actually just snap our fingers and teleport to let's say the Northern Lights? Or what about let's go high in the sky? What about some nice waterfall? Well of course these are just some fun video editing techniques that I'm doing with the green screen right behind me as you can see right now. But in photo manipulation in Affinity Photo, these things are super super fun and easy to achieve if you have the right brush pack. Now that's why I launched the ultimate photo manipulation brush bundle which includes 7 or actually 8 of my brush packs all bundled together to create some awesome and fun photo effects in just a click. You can add northern lights, you can add stars comets, clouds, birds, trees, waterfalls, lightning, light flares and just so much more even if you have no experience in Affinity Photo at all. Now this video is not gonna be a tutorial this is more gonna be like a demonstration where you have an over the shoulder look of me using the photo manipulation brush bundle and showing you how easy it is to create some awesome photo manipulations. Now I've launched this for Black Friday so there's gonna be a huge discount so if you watch till the very end of this video I'll tell you all about the offer but before we go there let me show you what you can actually achieve with these brushes. Are you ready? I definitely am. Let's jump straight into Affinity Photo. Alright so we've jumped into Affinity Photo and today I'm I want to show you what you can actually achieve with the ultimate photo manipulation brush bundle. All right, so I here I've got a photo and I've shot this photo a couple of days ago. Um, yeah, here close at the beach. What I want to do now is I want to create a new pixel layer to work on. So every time I'm going to use one of my brushes, if I won't forget, I will create a new pixel layer. Now, here we have my brush panel. I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna go to the I am Renzi cloud brushes, which is included in the um, brush bundle. And yeah, for the sake of this video, I will call this one clouds. And what we can do with these brushes, the first five brushes are cloud stamp brushes. So you can just basically click one, then click once again in your canvas and you have your cloud. Of course, once you've stamped it, you can move it around with the move tool. You can si resize it, you can reshape it. You can use masks to alter the shape of these clouds as well. So these first five are basically just the cloud stamp brushes and they all have a different form. So this is more a triangular shape. This is more a round shape. This is more a random shape. There it has three clouds bundled together. And here is a sky full of clouds. So if we just size it up a little bit, we can um, create a sky full of clouds at once. Then we've got five cloud painter brushes, which are super, super fun um, because you can just paint your own clouds however you like. So if you want to create a heart shaped cloud, you can do that like this. And just so you know, I'm not using any fancy um, graphic tablet. I'm not even using a mouse. I'm using the trackpad of my MacBook Pro. So this is the hardest way to create something fun. So that's uh, to show you how easy it is and that you don't need any fancy gear to use these brushes. Now, what um, as said, you can just paint whatever you like. Of course, you can also uh, create some nice fog or some haze if you wanted to. So add some haze in the foreground maybe. All right, so these are the I'm Renzi cloud brushes. Super fun, super useful. And honestly, I use them a lot in my own works. So let's go to the next one, which is the I'm Renzi firework brushes, also included in the brush pack. Um, same thing, we've got this firework painter brushes. Um, yeah, they basically do the same as the, paint, the cloud painter brushes, but this time we're gonna uh, create sparkles. So let me reduce my brush size a little bit, and now I can just write in sparkles. So I can just do whatever I want. And uh, let's say you have a portrait of your child. I don't know if I can just um, grab one very click quickly right now. Um, yeah, let's say maybe this one right over here. Just a fun photo of a child. And what we could do is um, write. So if I want to write something, I could just write 2022, let's say, and it's just like the child wrote it. Now, of course, this is uh, not the best example, but you get the idea, I guess. So there are two firework painter brushes, and then there are a couple of uh, yeah, just firework brushes. So these are basically just click and drag. So um, if you want to have fireworks, boom. But um, yeah, this is just how we create fireworks. And what I found the best way to use these brushes is if you want to uh, color those brushes, what you can do is use white as a foreground color, then place your firework and then add an outer glow in any kind or color that you want. So let's say we want to have some nice blue fireworks or this will be hard to see. So let's go for um, 
let's go for another color in this case so maybe some red fireworks um, yeah it's also pretty hard to see but if we would have a darker image like this you can see that we've got some nice firework uh, going on in the red color so um, this is the red one now obviously we can do any uh, any other fireworks as well so I've got a heart shaped sparkle firework for you which is already made and then we've got another firework right over here which is just filling up the whole sky so um, yeah it's just one click and you have a sky full of fireworks so this is super super fun to use of course uh, for your new year's eve uh, super fun brushes to work with all right let's delete both uh, these both let's create a new layer and let's go to the lens flare brushes now let's keep the uh, darker uh, background let's say and let's say we want to turn on one of those lights so this bus yeah obviously it was daylight so he didn't have his lights turned on but let's say he wants to uh, we want to put this uh, turn his lights on so let me just do that quickly and there we go so we um, yeah basically just select any lens flare brush um, let's say we want to turn on this light at the top here as well let's select this one right over here just decrease the size a whole lot maybe put it on its own layer and just click once and what I want to do now is just rotate a little bit so that it actually matches the um, yeah the shape of the light and there we go now let's say the bottom light is gonna be his uh, brake light or his rear light so it's gonna be red what we can do is just create an outer glow and create a red outer glow just like we did with the firework and just like that we have a nice red light so that's basically how easy it is to add some uh, lens flares to your image of course you can also add the sun if you want to so if we just create another new layer press b on the keyboard and yeah maybe just use any brush as a sun so maybe this one boom and there we have uh, some kind of sun maybe you don't like that these rays are so sharp so what you could do is go to your layer effects go to a gaussian blur blur it a little bit and then you have a little more subtle sun let's say all right, so these are the lens flare brushes. Let's go to the light beam brushes because they are also pretty fun. This is not the best example image to show you what we can all do with these light beam brushes, but um, with every brush pack which is included in the brush bundle you will get multiple tutorials so at least three sometimes even four tutorials explaining how to install the brushes how to use the brushes and some fun creative tutorial on how to creatively use them. So let me just quickly show you this is one of the um, light beam brushes you can just click and there you have your light beam you can do whatever you want with it of course once you stamped it on your new layer you can reshape it resize it uh, drag it around and yeah do whatever you want with it of course you can alter the shape uh, with um, layer masks just like any other layer so um, yeah these are the light beam brushes all right, then we've got the lightning brushes. They go very well together with the cloud brushes. So let me just grab some cloud first. Let's disable these three for now. Let's add some cloud, maybe this one. Let's create a new layer. And this is gonna be my lightning layer. And yeah, I'm just gonna pick any one of those. So let's maybe pick uh, this one right over here. And we click once and boom, there we have our um, lightning now you can see this one is cut off here on the uh, on the right side and that is because this cloud or this brush is actually pretty white um, yeah we could also use another one maybe this one or this one it doesn't really matter but um, just to show you what you can do with those now of course you can also change the color of the lightning um, what I advise is to use a very bright color so now we have white but you could also use a very bright blue or a very bright pink um, for this effect and then just add an outer glow once again so if we want to have some more pinkish or purplish um, lightning let's say you can do that by just adding an outer glow and yeah you can play with the intensity however you like and there we have our um, pink or purplish lightning let's say now that is um, the lightning brush pack there are 10 lightning brushes inside so you can just play around with those and also a very cool thing what you can do with these lightnings is obviously just use the deform tool or the um, 
the uh, mesh warp tool to just reshape those lightnings however you like so if you want to reshape them a little bit maybe more like this you can do so with the deform tool now this is also um, included in the tutorials um, uh, with these lightning brushes so you'll find the tutorials uh, on how to play around with those lightnings as well all right let's just disable these two for now as well and let's add a new pixel layer and let's go to the nature brushes and the nature brushes include grass brushes they have birds um, waterfalls some trees and yeah that's basically it so the grass brushes can be used to paint let's say um, grass if you want to for yourself so you can just use uh, these grass brushes to either paint grass for yourself or how i usually use them is as uh, masking brushes so let's go to my animal asset pack and this is actually or you can purchase these with a discount if you purchase the um, ultimate brush bundle and let's add this elephant um, right over here and as you can see it just doesn't look really like the elephant is standing in the grass right now but if we just create a layer mask select the layer mask and select any of our grass brushes so let's maybe pick this one press b on the keyboard to select the brush tool and make sure black is set um, as your foreground color so i'm gonna press d and then press x now what i can do is just mask out the bottom part of this elephant and it's just gonna look so much better and it's actually gonna look like he's standing inside of the grass. Now the best uh, use of these brushes is to just play around with some different brush sizes as well. And there we go. Now it actually looks a lot more like he's walking in the grass. So this was the before and this is the after. And yeah, that is what these grass brushes are used for. Then there's, um, Let's create a new layer. There's some waterfall brushes right over here. So if I press B and then press X, there's a waterfall brush. If you want to have a waterfall out of the window or I don't know what you want to do with it. But um, yeah, there we have a waterfall brush. There's two of them actually pretty fun to use. There's some birds. So if you use black as a foreground color and click once, you have some birds. And if they are far away, obviously you want to apply some Gaussian blur to just blur it a little bit so that it actually looks more cinematic let's say um there are some geese or goose geese i think it's called so um yeah right over here there's some geese if you want to add those and of course if you think they are too close together of course you can just grab either one uh, press command x or control x on windows press command v or control v and just use either one of those so you don't have to use the whole brush at once you can just um, basically uh, split the, 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 the birds up as well all right so let's delete those for now um, yeah there are a couple of trees and you can also use these trees to either stamp in trees maybe in the background or in the foreground or you can use them um, to mask out as well so let's go to the night brushes and let's actually disable everything that what we've done up until now so something like this um, yeah let's darken this image a little bit so I've created a levels adjustment layer and I drag this one this slider to the left and that basically just darkens the image a whole lot if we want to and what I want to show you now is how to create northern lights now this is going to be super super easy um, select either one of the northern light brushes and we don't want this olive green color obviously um, so let's pick some nice vibrant green because northern lights are most of the time pretty greenish let's go for this color right over here and just click once and boom you have your northern lights now there are four northern lights brushes so this is one of them this is the second one of them as you can see this one is cut off right ar around here uh, super easy to fix so just create the layer mask and just mask out the bottom part of this um, northern light with yeah just a basic round brush or any other brush that you like so you could just um, brush this part out and then you have your nice northern light in the sky so there are four of those in the i'm rinse night brush pack which is included in the ultimate brush bundle um there's also so let me disable this one for now and let's create a new layer there's gonna be uh a milky way um, doesn't really work in this image 
but there's going to be a Milky Way. Uh, what usually works very well is to, to add some outer glow and maybe make it more purplish or bluish. So let's go for some purple blue color. Something like this maybe. This works a little better. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really match with this image, but um, in most or in a lot of images it works very, very well. So there's this um, Milky Way, then there's another one. This is a more, yeah, let's say um, cartoony, surreal Milky Way or yeah, universe kind of thing. There's the moon and there's another moon and a moon crescent and there's a full moon as well. And then we have an eclipse. So if you want to create an eclipse, what you could do is just add this moon and then add this eclipse right over it. Well, you would have to do it on a new layer, but um, yeah, it just gives a very fun effect as well. So something like this, and you can kind of create this eclipse kind of style. Um, yeah, maybe we want to darken this moon then a whole lot, but you get the point. Um, very interesting, of course. So fun to play around with. And then as last, there is this meteor kind of thing. So you just yeah click once and there you have your meteor and you can just drag it around and yeah rotate it, of course. So super cool, super fun. Um, then there is the last one actually, which is the particle brushes. And particles, I use them super, super, super often in many, many of my works. And they go very well with glows and very well with fire. And these brushes, yeah, they are just, what they say, they're just particles. So you just click once and boom, you have particles. You can use, uh, you can also use these particles as snowflakes. You can use them as rain. You can use them as uh, dust or sand or anything like that. So um, there are 10 inside of this brush pack and you can just yeah play around with those so if you're interested in the ultimate photo manipulation brush bundle then check out the link down below in the description to get a 50 percent discount until this black friday thank you so much for watching my name is rens and i hope to see you in my next video ciao ciao